time to finish up the Halls of Confusion. And yeah, I already found the stairs, but there are still two upgrades to be found, an extra light and a homing missile. And wait a minute, where is this leading? Oh, there's the extra life. And wait, now I'm going south. So basically, I found the extra life because I went the wrong way, the way I came. Oh, that was cool. Uh, I, that what I was referring to, and the fact that I hit one of those aliens from around the corner with the homing missile. That's the thing I like about homing missiles. Usually, you're really vulnerable when there are enemies immediately around the corner, but sometimes missiles will... Oh, secret passage here. Oh, watch out for the hole. It was right on the other side of the, the walkthrough wall, so... It was really dangerous to, to deal with. Ah! Stupid mummy. Note to self, never go backwards in this game. You're almost sure to get gang banged by some enemy or another. Now, I was talking about that hole right on the other side of a walkthrough wall, as there is another secret passage which leads where... Oh, there, there's the silver lock door, though I'm surprised I didn't need the silver key to end the level because, well, usually you need both of them, and here it's only used to get two of each potion and two of each cloak, so yeah, that's a really useless key. Usually it's mandatory. So for that hole I was talking about, well, it's as cheap, if not cheaper, than, you know, enemies coming from the other side of a walkthrough wall, which has occurred a lot of times already, but a hole right on the other side, that's a first. If you're running fast enough and you don't see it in time, you're going to die before you even know what happened. Of course, holes being the only source of instant death in this game, you'll have it figured out after one or two seconds, but in the meantime... Yeah, so now I'm looking for those missiles, which will max me out. Now, I think it's in that area, which I have affectionately dubbed the, the the Christmas tree ball zone, since that's what it looks like. It looks like a Christmas tree ball warehouse, with all those multicolored walls and everything. And yeah, I don't know if I'll be as lucky finding those missiles as I was, you know, finding... The oh, there's the missile! Yeah, as I was about to say, I was really lucky to have found that extra life because it only happened because I did a mistake. I was heading back the way I came instead of going forward back into this Christmas tree ball maze. Okay, here's the entrance of the level, so now I just have to look uh, for the the, uh, the way I came into that area the second time. There it is, so there's this very long hallway and at the end of that hallway there are the stairs. So level 22 is over, time for level 23, 7 splits, oh there's a lot of, of enemies right from the start, and what did I tell you, maxed out missiles are sliced bread number 2. And no, I'm not referring to the possibility of crapping out sliced bread. So, as you can imagine, since it's called 7 splits, this level is divided into 7 areas, which makes it really easy to navigate. So, yeah, here's a blue cloak, and I imagine in the the other half of this area there are the, there is a, one of the keys which will open access to one or two more areas in the in the level there's the silver key and in one of those areas there's the gold key which will grant me access to the rest of the level now it's not mandatory to explore every last corner of the level if you already know where the gold key and the stairs are but it's still recommended because there's a lightning bolt and okay there's a 10 cent door i'm gonna save and check out what's inside a few enemies so yeah i was saying the lightning bolt's useful because the next level is an outdoor level and it's packed with way too many enemies to handle so every little edge counts even if it's just some extra range which is especially useful in an outdoor level the, the the next one level 24 is the last outdoor level by the way and so far i'm not impressed by what i've seen in this area uh, only a bunch of enemies a coin and 
my lawn is clean, not my chest. God damn, I love those missiles when they're maxed out. Is nothing a dead end? Just a bunch of enemies and a solitary coin? Well, of course I'm going to, uh, to, to, to load. So yeah, the silver key only opens up this area, which is the most confusing bit in this level. So, and, and of course, it houses the gold key. So you were gonna have to explore this a bit. And I've checked the map of uh, this level before. Uh, beginning this video and this area actually wraps all the way around the uh, the area that's where who, uh, where the entrance is directly south of um, the, the entrance to this area you so you may not understand what I mean unless you've seen the map but what this means in essence is that it's a fairly linear area but it's still as confusing as it can be and really, it's the only remotely hard part of the level, especially since I've already been attacked by <laughs> monsters. Just like that, I've I've been attacked quite a few times by enemies waiting around corners. And yeah, I really should then um, stop pressing the run button. And because yeah, even though I would like this place to be over as quick as possible because that wall pattern just looks horrible I I can barely just I can barely say what it's supposed to represent that it's like it's like someone took a dump all over the that place now as you might expect if I lose a lot of energy getting ambushed I am simply going to load because well I'm nearing the end of the game and uh, as such Recovery items are becoming a lot more scarce. Well, they were already incredibly scarce in levels like 17 and 18. What? I'm back at the entrance? Oh, god damn it, I've got to backtrack and do this all over again. I bet I was really close to the key, too, when I made the, that uh, involuntary U turn, that is. So now I've got to backtrack all the way to the end of that. Honestly, I have no words for how horrible these walls look. It's, it's really like a chimpanzee took a giant dump all over the place and decided to write weird patterns in it for fun. Because that's what monkeys do, right? Oh, whatever. So I just saw that uh, green potion I gobbled down, so I must be getting close to the end. Okay, not that way. Mm. I'm gonna save just in case. Nope, no ambush yet. Ah! Damn it! I should have shot up! Reminds me of when I did my Game Gear Sonic 2 LP, and I was talking about how a given stage was really easy, and right in the middle of, of my sentence, I died. Yeah, that was a classic slow flake moment. One of my favorites, actually. There's the gold key, and with it comes the guarantee that there is no enemy left in this area, so I can simply run all I want. And I can't run fast enough to get out of this place, especially since, nope, not that way. There's the green potion I gobbled down for nothing earlier on. And, gee, th th this is really confusing, actually, because, yeah, just look at this. No, not this corner, but there are some corners where you know, you've, you've got like three or four directions you can go, most of them being dead ends, but if you mess up on those dead ends, then you can go back the way you came, whether it's at the beginning or the end. So, there we go. We're gonna explore some optional areas now. First things first, as usual, I'm gonna secure the, the outer region of, um, the, of, the, of this area. Do not enter. Oh, a walkthrough wall. I've got to secure this one too, else those enemies will come for me while I'm uh, shooting enemies outside the area. So, is there anything there? Doesn't look like it, so I'm gonna continue. Is there anything over there? Nope. Hey, I'm gonna just check out this room for fun. And several pirates in a row. Just like those assassins in level 15. Looks weird here. Is there... Nope doesn't look like there's anything there but I'm gonna check out this room and after that that's going to be it for now